Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in once again for another video. Uh, today, as per you know, the thumbnail suggested, we're going to be talking about the new features uh, from Adobe XD's May 2020 update. Uh, so there was like three main, well, two main features and one plugin actually. It wasn't exactly, you know, the kind of stuff that I was waiting for. I'm still waiting for the inside shadows feature, which I think it would be quite useful. So it wasn't this time, but still, nevertheless, good features as well. So, and it's always good to see Adobe XD growing and, and becoming more, you know, uh, competitive against, you know, other giants like, you know, Figma Sketch, etc. So that's quite good. So the first feature is actually a feature that will really help everyone, especially during this time that we are all going through isolation and, and everything, which is the capability of co-editing offline. So it, it's a feature that is more, is basically moving a little bit more towards the kind of uh, features that Figma offers and what Figma kind of stands for, you know, like helping um, cooperation within the workplace, etc. So basically allo allows you to edit the project and uh, save it offline and uh, once you uh, go back online again the system will automatically update the file so the overall file so if you're sharing the same file with with other people uh, you will see the components updated the design updated etc so it which is quite a useful feature really the second one uh, is actually a prototyping zooming in and zooming out so the clue is in the name so it's, there's nothing too much uh, to it so basically I've, I've just opened here a, a prototype and it's basically here. So as you can probably see, so you have the capability to zoom in and zoom out once you, you look at the, at the prototype, you have the link. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's useful, allows you to see uh, a few different uh, mistakes and, and, and especially if you are r really focused on proportions and, and all of that kind of stuff, uh, it's good, but it's not life changing, but it's, it's a nice little feature. So, for the third uh, feature, um, which is actually not a feature, is a plugin. So, uh, there had been discussions about this plugin for a while. It was available for Sketch before. Uh, now is available for uh, Adobe XD, which is quite good. The plugin is actually called Anima, and it's absolutely fantastic. The, it features multiple things. So, you can actually do the proto part of the prototyping within this plugin. Uh, allows you to add a couple of uh, hover effects, entrance animations. Once you select, it even gives you like the CSS uh, code for it, etc. So it's really, really good. So you have entrance animations, hover effects. Uh, you have the capability, and this is really, really new for XD. The capability to import videos, GIFs, Lottie animations, which is something that wasn't really available before. At least the Lottie animations, the only place I know that does Lottie animations is... is um, uh, Webflow, but I'm sure there's 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 other ones. But in terms of design systems, there's I at least I'm not aware of any. So uh, allows you to in add links as well, embed code, and there's actually a very interesting feature as well called uh, breakpoints, which it's basically web responsiveness. So it basically does what a flexbox already does for the you know for the people that know about CSS. Uh, so I have here like an example just to show. Um, so it, I didn't actually set it up, but if I had, as I am moving back and forth, the system would automatically resize. So as we have it like on mobile versions and tablet versions, etc. Once you click on previewing browser, uh, I'm actually not going to do it because I already have uh, one, but it would disappear. You just click open and then uh, basically loads it up on the browser. So already with all the animations and stuff. Um, very interesting feature as well, um, you can now uh, export in HTML as well with the Flexbox layout, uh, so it you know, makes it even more accurate, you can export CSS as well, uh, but I believe that this is like a paid feature as well. But nevertheless, it's a very, very interesting plugin, very, very powerful. And, uh, and yeah, so this is what, I, what what the updates were. Like I said to you in the beginning, it was not life-changing. I mean, although Anima is, is quite, quite impressive uh, once you get your head around to it and stuff. Um, but yeah, all of the other ones weren't like life-changing, but it's a nice little addition and uh, it, 
all features are welcome, really. So thank you very much anyway for watching this and hopefully guys, I see you all on my next video. Thank you.